Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss Talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, incredible. Miss Jamaica, what's going on? Nothing, nothing, my dad walk on. Say, man, hey, we, hey, God done dropped a bomb on us. I know. Say, man, no. he here, a man. Yeah, yeah, look here, man. You niggas been watching him. He, he work. Hey, you can't be denied, nigga. The man done put it. Hey, Come hey, the, the BMF. I know. Hey, man, this dude here. Not only that, the nigga really, really created a whole nother pop wave. To be honest with you, for me, I seen it, man. The boy, yeah. hey, man, I love this cat, man. Come on, man. Zane in the building. Let's say what's, what's up, baby. Hey, man, good to be here, man. How you feeling, big man? Man, hey, man, I feel real good, man. Hey, now man. that you here, hey, boss talk, man. Hey, one on one, what a boss is talk. One on one with a boss is talk, man. <laughs> I like this whole setup too, man. Man, th- hey, th- yeah. thank you, man. Yeah. Hey, man, we've been going up, man. Yeah. Uh, I, I never seen it coming. I'm like, dang, man, when we first got this place, I, when we first got the ball, you know, because we've been there 15 years, but the the whole little old setup, I was just doing it saying, I'm going to bring some people in. But then my nigga D-Map from out of Atlanta, uh, shout out D-Map, he designed uh, for 8732 and the clothing brands back for so, Jewel House for Boosie. Yeah. He called me, he said, man, E, thank you, man. You did it. Hey, man, you, I love what you're doing for the culture. Like, nigga, I ain't do it for no culture. <laughs> the nigga called me because he see it. <laughs> nigga, this something I just did. I'm just doing it for me, nigga, but now nah, the people loving it. So I'm, yeah. God has his own way of doing things, yeah. man. So what you he think? He planned one thing and God has another plan in store. Man, he's always on time, right? Mm-hmm. Check mm. it, man. Uh, well, we want to know a little bit about you. Mm. Growing up, okay. where you from, growing your household, up. your siblings. We want to get all man. in that business. Man, let's get into it, man. Or growing up, you know, born in Yonkers, New York. Mm. What? Yeah, but you don't even have that New York accent. He been in like Atlanta that. a while. I've been in Atlanta for a minute though. Okay. But you know, all my family from Yonkers, New York though. How old were you when you left? Um, I was young, like probably like four. Oh, know, okay, three, yeah, four, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I understand. Moved to Atlanta. Um, moved to Atlanta like three or four. My mom and pops. My mom and pops been together for like what going on? I think this day. 40th anniversary, Ooh. maybe like 35, 35th or 40th. We trying to get there, girl. Yeah, we trying to get there, man. We going to get there. All right. You know what I'm saying? I'm riding came, with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> came from a household with both, you know, it, it's it's a weird story with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a weird story. Well, that's a nice yeah, we got time to no, yeah, yeah, We got time to I got the book coming. I got the book coming. Oh, you know what I'm saying? But, you, know what I'm saying? you know, shout out, shout out, you know what I'm saying, to my, to my pops, you know what I'm saying? My mom's like, I came from like, you know, family where, you know, the pops was there, moms was there, you know what I'm saying? And I had siblings, you know. Three How many three. siblings? I got three other siblings. I'm the oldest of four. Wow. And um, so, so. so always been like the person that just like. That everybody looked up to. Got everything first, like got the ass whooping first, <laughs> had to go through the BS first, you know. And um, <clears throat> and always that's what made me who I am, though, because it's like I always had to share, you know, some of my brothers. And so it made me like. Not a hater, like someone that's I get a shirt off my back, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much older are you than your siblings? Um, like two years older than my two years older than one. Okay, the one under me. Then I got one. I'm like four years older than five years older than, and then I got a sister. I'm like six years old. And all of you raised in the same household? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, we grew up in. They all was. They all was born in um in Atlanta. Atlanta, though. Okay. You know, so me, I was born in Yonkers, New York. Moved to Atlanta when I was like four. Did doing. your parents ever tell you why move to Atlanta out of anywhere else? Just oh, why Atlanta? Yeah, um, we were um, actually, you know, my dad started like, you know, he was hustling out there. And um, I think it was a shootout or something. Like mm. it, was, it was in a shootout or something. My brothers, it was like, a, I don't really remember it like that, but we was in a shootout in the park or something. Then they found me up, like laid over my brother. You know what mm. I mean? So that. From that day, they was just like, "Yo, it's time to pack up." <laughs> I think, like, they told me we they moved like the next day. So, That's um, dope. so, boom, that happened. Shoot out, we moved to Atlanta, and then from like, you know, five until I was probably like twenty one, I lived in Atlanta doing music. Went to school in Atlanta, raised in Atlanta, elementary, junior high, mm-hmm. you know, um, high school. So Atlanta's like where if somebody asks me where I'm from, it's like mm-hmm. Atlanta's where I'm from. How yeah. old were you when you found a love for music? Oh man, love for music. First song I ever learned was Before I Let Go by Frankie Beverly and Maze. Mm, yeah, yeah, Before that's, I Let that's Go. Heavy right there, boy. Yeah, Before I Let Go, Frankie Beverly and Maze, Whitney Houston, my mom, all those songs, them classic songs my mom used to play while she was cleaning up or something. 
that's how I grew up on music. So Frankie Beverly Mays, Whitney Houston, Bobby Brown. So no she addition. had a love for music, not your dad as much. Yeah, my mom and my dad, like just really, they, they none of them did music. My dad writes though. Oh, okay. Like, I think I get my poetry from like your dad, my dad, because mm-hmm. he, my dad got over like ten thousand poems. You know what I'm mm. saying? So he was a writer for sure. I got my name from Zane Gray too, the writer Zane Gray. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's so I cool. think I think names are important. Very, very important. Very. My, my grandma named my dad after Zane Gray. I mean, after Zane, you know, the writer. Mm-hmm. He ended up being a writer. You know, not yeah. a professional writer, but like, if it's funerals or anything, they like, yo, Big Zane, write something. <laughs> and he's Big Zane. Like, that's my. That's not my stage name. Like, Lil Zane is really like, if you had, yeah, if yeah. you was, if you had, if you was. Your your dad's name Larry, you know what I mean? You Larry, you Larry Jr. Mm-hmm. So they call you Little Larry. Yeah, Everybody Lil might e. think Lil it's e. a, I'm Little E. Yeah, my yeah. dad might think e. it's a, like no matter how your dad's still alive. I know he passed away, but I'm okay, still so I'm still Little E when he comes down to see, that. See, we can relate. Dad, yeah, no. me up on that. No, like, no, but yeah. hold on. But you've told me. I'm when, still. When, when, when I tell him, I say you still you Junior. He's like, no, I'm not Junior no more. I'm Senior now because he passed away. I am away. Senior, but I'm no, still. I feel like that. I feel like that. A lot of people say, well, you know, I'm saying you Little Zane. Why you change your name? Boom, boom. But I'm like. It ain't no stage name for me. Like Mm-mm. in my house, you gotta say like Big Zane, Lil Zane. You gotta mm. say one of those because both of us will come down. That's it. That's it. Zane. And now I have a son named Zane. So, hey. but, but he's, he's the third. No, he's Baby Z. So I changed. He's he doesn't have the same exact. He he's Zane Jeremiah Copeland. Okay, you know what I'm saying. That's still dope. Yeah, I'm Zane Rudolph Copeland. I got yeah. I got the fucked up. <laughs> you know what I'm I wasn't trying to do that to him. You know what I'm saying? Did you ever get teased about that middle name? Did I? Oh my god! <laughs> Every Christmas come around, this Rudolph motherfucker. I hate it. I hate right Christmas. There. Yo, don't sing that shit. <laughs> Rudolph the Red. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Man. Yeah, but um, that's crazy. So you know, I changed my son's name up just so he have his own identity. You know, so but growing up. People always say, well, I ain't changing your name, whatever. It's like, I feel like you. It's like Big Zane is, till he passed, till if some, Lord forbid, some, I don't really feel comfortable no. saying, oh, Big Zane, no uh-uh. matter how much money I got, how much shit I did. It's no. like, you always Lil E. I'm always be Lil E. And, yeah. and, and I respected him to the day he, And I respect he died. my dad to the like, fullest. I don't play with that. Like, and I, I never. I play with it, yeah. No cursing, no none of that. I was respectful, you're right. man. I don't you, play like you're that. Right. You're right, you're right. And he passed away, but still, I know that, you know, I, I did what I was supposed to do. Man, like. And I can sleep at night. You know what I mean? That's real, man. Like, and that's funny you said that, because me and my pops ain't really seeing eye to eye right now. Like. You know, I went there with mine too for I, years, but it ain't too late. But yeah, but I, lately I've been reaching out and stuff like he just yeah. had a birthday on Thanksgiving, so I just been reaching out because like life is so short, man. It is. You know what I'm saying? It is. You don't want to get that call or you know what I'm saying? You just like damn, I should have. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. And like you said, we, I got so much respect for him. It's like how can you say you got so much respect for him? And still, I had to I, even I, when they wrong, dog. They still I be right. Feeling like I be feeling like my dog wrong sometimes, but I be like, just because I have so much respect. It's like, damn, I gotta. Yo, you gotta you do know how right. our dads is. Our dad, they ain't gonna call us, bro. No. Because they got that. They pride. They got that pride, like, because yeah. they know they was there for That's us. That's right. They know broke, they was there. I like, broke my leg, and my dad still didn't even come to the hospital. We hadn't spoken a year and something, and I wow. was hurt behind that. Wow. My stepdad was at the hospital. I was like, wow. dude, where my dad at? I was really pissed. Wow. But I knew we wasn't seeing eye to eye when it had happened. But at the end of the day, he eventually came to see me. But, they, they you know, they, they got this thing that you, you disrespected the God, nigga. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And especially <laughs> when they know. They've been there for us. Exactly. It's like, nigga, no matter what I did, what I said. That's it. I was there fucking 20. How is you now, nigga? I'm still there. I was there when you was born. Wow. That's the part where you, you forget because you wow. uh, you can't remember that. Wow. But they was there. Wow. But, I was, would, but I would think, too, because y'all are now fathers, you know, you're going to be that person that, down the line where you have to deal with your child and your child going to be thinking the same thing that you're thinking right now. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It's It's a... You know, yeah and no, because, you know, it's a lot of things I would do different, you know what I'm saying, with my kids than my dad did with me, too. Not saying... Yeah, but that nigga, no, that, see that nigga right there? I, did, I I thought the same way, but my son, yeah, he was mad at me on a couple of things. Yeah. He didn't say it, yeah. but then somebody else come back and like, yeah, he don't like, he don't see how he quiet, but yeah, he ain't, he ain't too much feeling that, such, such, such. So I think you don't get around those blows. You mm. could try. mm but it's just something to where it's gonna be those times. But those are the times that you grow in. Yeah, that yeah. relationship is growing when you go through those yeah. stages. Yeah, and then it's like being a, being a father too. It's like you know now when we discipline our kids or whatever, it hurt us more. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like damn, like he was. I thought he was being the worst, but he's probably he's probably Doing he's it for probably you. 
it was probably hurt him more than it hurt it. Did. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying? Right. So now having kids, I, I realize that like you know, I, I scream at my kids sometimes, or they put on punishment, and two minutes later, I'm like, "What y'all want from the store?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me give you an example of something that I went through with my mom. Like you know, growing up, you know how like for me personally, I used to always say that um, I'd wish that she would say, "I'm proud of you." Because I would never get that, but I'd get all the love, the hugs, I love you, all of that. But I I just wanted to hear that. So as I got older, I'm like, why have why you never told me that? Well, for her, her mom never told her she loved her. Mm. So she overcompensated with that for mm. me. Mm. So you didn't get something from your dad. You're going to overcompensate for your child with that. But there's always something that's lagging that that child is going to be like, but he didn't do this. Yeah. No matter what. No matter what. Yeah. No matter what. And that's the crazy. And then you learn that, you know, parents ain't perfect. Our parents ain't perfect. Nobody's no. perfect. Nobody's perfect. But as no. a kid, you want it. You think, you know, you think it is. Like, yes. But then you just learn, like, growing up, it's like, sometimes my son be doing some things, and I be like, yo, I was doing that. Like, he'll tell you, be like, yo, that's your son, dog. Like, <laughs> you know, so you see it. So you that's see your, it, and you that's just. That's your boy, for that's sure. Him. Yeah, so, man, shout out, shout out to Pops. All the real dads out hey, there. Ain't the real man. Because we don't get enough credit, man. Nah. We don't, we don't no and we get bumped uh, gifts for Father's Day. I get it, man. Come on, yeah, man. they be hating on us. Hating they love their mama hating more, even though you do everything you can. You could tell. <laughs> they no, don't girls really, love their they daddies don't ride, more. They don't rock with you like they girls ride with mama. Are I, yo, little girls, girls love their dad more. Thank yeah. you. My little girl love me though. Like Thank I can't you. do no wrong in her eyes. Don't you know look what? at me. I don't want to hear that. We are, we got Zane in here, man. Let's get to the yeah, Zane. So you know so, saying? how did you end up uh, on uh, uh, BMF? The the how did you end up dealing with a fifty on man, that? It's just been a long journey, man. Just um, you know, I went on a couple auditions. Um, you know, and Tasha called me. Well, my agent called me and was like, "We got this audition for you." I didn't know what it was at the time, and when he sent it to me, I saw it was a BMF. I went into it like I didn't really even think I was gonna get it. I ain't gonna be. I, I ain't even gonna hold you like. I was just like, I ain't gonna get this shit. And I just went in there, kind of did it like, you know, like I ain't care about it. But I guess the part called for that. The part yeah. called for like, <laughs> the part, get out. The won't part, he, what did he do? <laughs> the, part, the part called for somebody with an attitude. Nonchalant. <laughs> somebody nonchalant. Whatever. So it's like, literally, like, usually when I do an audition, I might do it like three, four times and sit there and look at it, pick the best one. But this one, I just did it that one time. It was just like, all right, sit in there. Like really, like me and you talking. I'm like, uh, oh, so it's a video audition. You had yeah, to it was do. A, it was it a taping. Wasn't in person. It wasn't in, okay. it was in person. You know what I mean? It wasn't an in person. It was right. a taping. And that's another thing too, man. Sometimes, you know, I think when you go in in person, you'd be nervous. Mm -hmm. You know, what of I'm saying? course, because it's somebody really just reading it to you. Like you all into it. Like you like, yeah, and blah, blah. and they're just like this. So what did you do yesterday? <laughs> okay, boom, boy. They that's their job to just be straight, plain, that's right. Shalot, and you still gotta have that energy, yes. everything, right? And you're trying so, to read their emotion, and they're not yeah. showing any. So when you do the self tape, it's kind of like a little different because you're not expecting it. So you just, you know, what I mean, self tape. You already mentally like, okay, it's just, it's just me. But when you naturally, if you're in a room and we're giving each other, we're feeding off of each other. You want that feed off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think I was doing too good with. And I don't do too good with in person. Yeah, yeah, you like you like that. Yeah, you like the the ones that you have to send. I think I do not. You know, I ain't gonna take. I'm gonna take that back because I booked before. But what I want to say is, it's better to me to self tape is like because you got a chance to do it a couple times, look at it, send the best one. I think that's the fairest. But when you get in, you might have a bad first. You might have a bad day right before you got an audition. So now that affects your in person audition. But you don't know what they're looking for. Just like you exactly. said, you know, you went in with this don't care attitude and you when, didn't realize that that's what they were with looking for. Went in with a don't care attitude. Exactly. That's what they was looking for. About two weeks later, I heard back, okay, well, you on you on standby. I was like, all right, cool, just stand by me. My agent's like, well, you just stand by. Stand by. <laughs> I'm like, all right. So you can't really plan nothing else. You shit coming in, you just like, okay, I can't really do nothing. Then another week went by. So about for about three weeks. You know, it was just that, did he get it, boom, boom. So finally they called, was like, you shoot on this day, boom, boom. And it was just crazy. Like, so, but I worked with Tasha about about two, three years before I did BMF on a movie called When I, When Love Kills. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, I had a small part in it. I was a little DJ in it. And, um, but she said that one line, I was in the corner, like, practicing it. Like, it was the last line, the, the, the only Gives line I ever all. had in life. She was like, he over there practicing that one line. And basically, um... You know the work ethic. She was just like, I knew I wanted to work with you on something else. So, 
BMF came up, did my little, you know, my little one two boom on the audition. So I guess when it came across the table, just timing. <laughs> timing I, I like it man you know I, I, I i think that's that's dope i i really i really like the way that you you working nigga. Yeah. you working these niggas i don't understand we here acting classes when nobody looking yeah. acting classes watching a lot of movies watching a lot of i'm a movie kind of sore like i love watching films but it's hard for me to just watch a movie because i'm i'm looking at the moments the you're pauses, looking at the, the different things you know because i want right. to be the best i'm watching the denzels i'm watching i study denzel i study do you imitate their accents and stuff like that um not you know one thing about me i can i can imitate almost any accent i think since a kid that has been like my gift like if i hear something enough like what's the naturally. best accent that you can imitate? i mean i, I, I can't really say oh this is my <laughs> such as <laughs> accent i just know like i can get on the phone and do some don't you, do you it, won't man. Think, you won't think it's me. You won't think it's me. You know what I'm saying? But my man be saying it's racist he sometimes. Nervous, <laughs> he be saying it's racist. <laughs> 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 hey, look, look, look. He if Jamaican. I walk in a Jamaican store, I'm talking to my brethren. Brethren, what's up, brethren? Uh, uh, no, <laughs> you know she's Jamaican, <laughs> my, right? youth, my youth, my youth. You know what I'm saying? We go down yonder, down yard. We go to yard. You know what I'm saying? So, but you know, it's just. With me, it's like I love people, man. I me love too. people. I love culture. You know what I'm saying? I love different cultures. So yeah. it don't be me trying to be funny. I'm really just trying to embrace relate, it. You right? know what I'm embrace. saying? I'm trying to embrace it. Like Chinese people might say, like, you know, growing up watching Chinese flicks. You know what I'm saying? When I try to talk like them, I wasn't trying to be racist. I was trying to like, yo, I, this is cool to me. Like, I'm one of them kids that mad because I don't know know how to speak a language. Yeah, yeah, some I, people I agree look at it as that. you're mocking them. Yeah, That's whatever. What they look yeah, at like it. I always tell people, I told my kids the other day, I was like, yo, if y'all don't do nothing, learn a language from me. Mm -hmm. Like, just learn a language from me. I'm like, just pick one and learn it. Like, yeah, you know my kids is Spanish. They mix with Spanish. They don't even know Spanish. <laughs> so, I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, y'all need to learn the language because really it's important. And I'm like, if, if that's something I could do all over again, I would have took a language in school because mm -hmm. you go across the world and like people be speaking these languages and you'd be like, damn, I, I really don't. You know what I'm saying? And I I can understand Jamaican more. Though. That's why certain places I go, like the Caribbean, it's Caribbean has oh, that, broken, it. that broken accent. Broken, broken English. Mm -hmm. So it's so it's easier for me to relate when I get around Caribbean people or Jamaicans. Like, you know, I feel like somewhere down my line in my culture, I was a, <laughs> I was a little Caribbean yeah, yeah, kid. Yeah. I love the water. I love yeah. the beach. Man, it's you know, nice. It's I love nice, the right? ganja. I love the, you know hey. what I'm saying? I love to grow my hair out. You know yeah, so I just yeah. feel like somewhere down the line, I was a little island boy. So what know? I wanted to know is, okay, so... Two years before BMF, you did a, a small film. So, d did you audition for anything in between that and BMF coming up? Man, I auditioned for so many films. Like, you know, um, I got to the point where I got tired of auditioning. You know, because sometimes you keep hearing them no's, 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 or not. You don't hear nothing at all. It don't really be you hear no. You just don't. You, mm -hmm. don't, you don't hear back at all. So it's like, you know, it gets discouraging. It gets, you know, it gets to the point where you like, yo. Like, I need to start messing with your self-esteem, you know what I'm saying? But you can't let it. So to counteract that, I just started working on my own projects. I was like, yo, if they ain't going to give me that that next role, I got to create it. You know, so I started really, I quit going on auditions for about a year. He'll tell you, he was calling me to go on auditions. I'm like, he like, they Denzel movie, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Discouraged. I ain't not not yeah, discouraged, but also just tired of hearing the no or not hearing nothing at all. Once I set my mind to like, okay, I'm not doing no more auditions for the next year because it's gonna force me to just go hard on me. Mm -hmm. So it was more like I had already had a my mindset, like I'm I'm gonna create my next move. You know, they're not gonna give it to me. I'm gonna create my next move. So I went in went in hibernation. I wrote like twenty different scripts movie scripts tv scripts game shows um reality shows and i was just calling him every day right calling him every day like yo i got this he like yo that's crazy i'm meeting with different pr producers and they're liking the ideas and i'm like i've started writing for artists i'm like you know what i might not I might not be on the main screen again. Mm -hmm. It might have. I might have to. God might be telling me be behind the scenes because mm -hmm. I still got this passion to do music and film. But a lot of people would think, oh, you had your chance already. You was out there, boom, boom, boom. So I was just like, whatever you do, just stay creative, stay working, mm -hmm. like stay writing. Like if you nobody's gonna give you your part, you are gonna write your next part. So I wrote this film called. I wrote this TV show called Almost Out, and I got to the point where I was having the table meetings, I, I had the investors, I had the locations. I'm like, 
I'm finna shoot me a TV show. It's like my version of power. It's mm. like power meets Den of Thieves. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, mm. so I got 50 people together, the actors, everything. He's there. You know what I'm saying? So, and then God will do it to you. Once God seen I was ready and I'm full fledged, about to go make all these hella mistakes. I know I'm about to make a <laughs> bunch of mistakes. I'm playing with people's money. I'm finna make a bunch of mistakes. But that's the it, only way you learn. You know, it was my way. Of, these are new mistakes, though. So mm-hmm. then, right, I had scheduled to shoot January 15th. And I got a call on January 1st that we were shooting on the 21st. So I had to push. That means I had to go back and tell 50 people, like, look, we ain't shooting on the 15th. I don't know when we shooting, but it's by, the t- by the time we shoot, it's we're going to be bigger than life. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's dope. That's, by I the like time it. we shoot, this BMF thing should be so big that we could walk this in anywhere. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right now, I'm just going off of just the old Lil Zane, what I did. Yeah. And, hey, I wrote this. Mm-hmm. They might, I, they, I might get to the table and they be like, okay, we like it, but we want to use such and such as this as yeah, a lead. We yeah, want to yeah. use so, mm-hmm. and I'm open to all that because at this point, I'm like, I'm not knowing if I'm finna be in the front or in the back. I'm, but I'm, 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 I'm in the long, room. Long as I'm in the room, mm-hmm. I'm in. The, you feel what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I always had that that. Long as I'm in the room, if I ain't number one, I'm gonna be part of whoever number one. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then you can That's create you can, cre- you, you can create opportunity in the room too. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, you as long as you're in the room, exactly. And tell them what can so go that. That's down. what I was on. I was on. But look at God though. What I was thinking about when, when you were saying all of that is that you had the money to do all of to do your project, but this came up. So by you doing this, you learn a lot more about the business. Yeah. Correct. Yes. That you can now turn around and implement it into your Cause own. Because I was about to go make a lot of mistakes. I was about to make a lot of fun mistakes, but it was going to be a lot of mistakes because I never did it. So now I'm writing a TV show and I get a call to be. In a TV show. On a TV show. And not only is it on a TV show, it's a true story. It's, you know, kind of know this going to be the biggest TV show in the world. I didn't yeah. know how much of it I was in. I thought I was, on, I was only supposed to be in one episode. Yeah. How did, how, did, how, did, how, did y'all, how did they how did they spin it off and put I you just in? kept from that one day I went in there, you know, that one episode might take seven days to shoot. So I guess just seeing us for seven days and the writers like, yo, these dudes are actually funny. Like, like, like on set it just became just organic. Like, okay, we're gonna write them in the scene, we're gonna write them in episode two, too. All right, put them in episode three, three. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's just it, it wasn't planned. I was only supposed to be number one. Is Fifty Cent on the set, or is, is he? Even? At, this, at this point, I hadn't seen. 50. You hadn't seen I hadn't 50. seen Fifty. I hadn't seen Fifty to like episode seven. Oh, really? Yeah, I hadn't seen Fifty to like episode seven. Seven. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, which is yeah, understandable. Seven, well, he, busy. he was moving around. Yeah. And, and they had a lot of COVID protocols too. Mm-hmm. You know, For Fifty sure. be turned up. Fifty. Yeah, be, yeah. <laughs> 50 be all over so they was hey, like hey man that dude man let, come on now that's how I knew they meant business cause even though it's his show they was like nigga even you can't come on a set until <laughs> you get COVID tested and oh you just came from mm-hmm. Houston well, you need to sit out 10 days before you mm-hmm. come around the yeah group. yeah so before he did his episode he really had to stay away from everybody for of course. 14 days so you know it was crazy um how is it working with that? Did you ever think you'd be working with 50? I know you work with Puff and I did. I all these other it. different I people. It. I called it in 2005, right? In 2005, when 50 came out, I looked at my man, because me and my man have been best friends for a while. Yeah. And I said, yo, 50 going to be the one to bring me back. Wow. I told him that. 2005, I said, yo, 50 going to be the one to bring me back, bro. And he said that, because he was a cancer, I was a cancer. I didn't know how. I thought I was going to meet him. We was going to do some music. I didn't. Yeah. I had no idea. It was That's how God show. do it. He gave you I'm a thinking some music shit. And my yeah. cousin... My cousins was cool with 50. Like, they part of, like, his little, like, you know, he got his real security, but then he got, you know, his street security, too. Like, so my cousins is, like, his little his little street niggas. And so every time they would do security for him, they would just see, he would see me just with them kind of, like, in the background. So I know he, like, nigga Lil Zane is with some niggas. <laughs> like, every time I come to Atlanta and these niggas come up, they, they got this nigga with them. But I never would be like, yo, 50, put me on. I'd just be chilling. I'd just chilling with the gangsters in a cut. In a cut. So That's dope. When all that play out, you know what I'm saying, the TV show, there is, I, mean, I don't know if it had anything to do with it, but it's like, I know how, I know how cancers think. If we see you enough and we feel it's like, cool. okay, it's he cool. cool. It's like, yo, put my nigga in there. I've seen my nigga around. Yeah, yeah. Because if he would have seen you and been like, I don't rock let with that, that shit. Let that shit have been Ja Rule or something. Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> That nigga's not playing soccer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if it's someone he don't fuck with, it's like you would have. So, 
just getting to go, I'm like, damn, okay. Yeah, like, yeah. Big dog. But I, in my heart, I always thank my cousin because I'm like, I believe everything play a part. Every small thing play. I think him seeing me with you guys and, you know, Tasha seeing me put in the work on the set that it was like, okay, I know he out here like that so he could pull it off on some gangster yeah, shit because yeah. it, it ain't fake for him. He be out with the gangsters. But then on the other side, is he a real actor too? He going he gonna to put in that work too. He going to be in the corner practicing. So boom, now now the streets and the talent meet. Preparation equals opportunity meets success, right? Hey, mm. you know what I'm saying. So when you when you, you said in 2005, so there was a time where you felt like I got to get back up on my you know, my yeah, good foot, like like early on you had a deal right with, yeah. with, with with and it wasn't a good deal. It was a horrible horrible deal. deal. I, mean, I ain't gonna say it was a horrible deal, but it opened doors. It opened, people that's know what I you. Say, I ain't gonna say it was a horrible deal. Like you know, for me, it's just. You just signed the damn paper, then you say. I ain't. I ain't gonna even say I just signed the paper, bro. <laughs> no, that's what people I ain't do, say right? I just signed the paper. It was just more like I didn't understand the power I had. Okay. Okay. I dig, I can dig it because you had you constantly had somebody over you that knew you gonna have that power. Like okay, QC and them, right? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. They Shout out QC. They tell little coach baby. K. They tell little baby, you that nigga, dog. You got the power. You mm -hmm. you could co change everything. I had a nigga over me that didn't want me to know I had that power. Yeah. Because okay. he wanted that power. So mm -hmm. if he seen me getting close to that power, it's like, yo, shut him down. Shut him down. No, 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 no. He doing too much. Mm -hmm. Man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you got to have, it's like everybody around me had a real OG around them. You know what I'm saying? You had the, you know, even podcast, Suge. You had Bow Wow had Jermaine. For sure. Nelly had Kuda. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I thought you would have worked with uh, Jermaine. I don't know why in my mind. Yeah, but see, I thought Jermaine, this it's crazy because Jermaine and the nigga I was working with hated each other. That's crazy. So it was like the niggas I wanted to fuck with, I couldn't even because the blessings was already blocked because this nigga has so many problems already. <laughs> you know what no, I mean? Yeah, you know, I get it. I get <laughs> and you it. roll with the people you roll with. It's yeah. Like, so it's like, to me, I was young. I wasn't, at the time, I wasn't knowing all that. But growing up, I learned like, yo, why Jermaine didn't really fuck with me like that? Yeah. Boom. But, you know, we did the hardball together, stuff like that. So, you know, shout out to Jermaine, too. Shout out to Bauer, all of them. Like, you know, I felt like there was things that could have been done to make that happen even more. But, um, you know, when you got two people that's from a whole different decade, because I think it's like the nigga I was with had stole some, a song or something from Jermaine back in the day or something. So it, it was going deeper and further than <laughs> I was even... It was going deeper and further than I even had to do it. man. We, we, you know, we so in control, but so out of control at the same time. It's really God. I, I keep hearing it, but everything you do is already, it's, it's already, already been written. set up, It's man. already like, written, bro. You know, anytime I'm, anytime I move, I tell nothing's by coincidence. It's like it's yeah. already written because yeah. I always wonder, why I didn't do this more? But then when you learn, and if you learn later, it's like, oh, they, they been had. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. would have never happened. You know man, what you I'm know, saying? I hear the stories even with Jermaine Dupree talk about uh, when, when Puff got into it with Suge and he was, he was in the, you know, they was at his place yeah. and all this, you hear all it these stories. It puts you in the middle. It puts you in the exactly. middle. Exactly. So it make you like, dang, you know, yeah. like. What you know, like you don't never know what's going on behind the scene, right? Yeah. You you've seen that being that you've been in, you've been around a long time. Yeah. How, how hard? I mean, how was it a depressing thing? Because I've had people on here, and I won't say their name because I'm gonna let them live. Mm -hmm. But uh, that that used to have it going on, yeah. and then all of a sudden, bam, they lose it everything. Like like nobody's checking for them no more. You and know what? I, and wait a minute. And when I see them. They, they, you could tell that it's a depressive state it put them in, to where they can't figure it out. You and know, it's easy, it's easy to get stuck in that mode as an artist. You know, I just refuse to let myself get there. You but know, what you, I'm you know where I'm coming from, yeah, right? No, no, it's, it's, it's. I know exactly what you're saying. It's like you be up for so long, or you be in a great position, then things don't stop going the right, the start stop going the way you Correct. had it going, and it's like you could see it in the dude, you could see it in their face. It's not the same. Yeah, I think. Maybe for like, maybe like a year or two, I might have had that. Maybe I remember feeling like that. I remember, I remember feeling like people could just look at you and feel like, damn, this nigga's not doing too well. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mentally. Because you just, but I don't feel like, I just was trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? I was just trying to figure it out. But one thing, I was always honest with myself. I'm like, yo, I ain't got this shit figured out yet. 
If I knew all the answers, I'd be every, I'd be up. You still giving yourself room to grow. Yeah, and, that's, people, and I always say that. Some people think they already arrived and all this other crazy yeah. stuff, you yeah. know, and, and 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 they lose it because they can't really figure it out because you really were never where you needed to be, no way. But exactly. in your mind, you thought you made it. Exactly. You know, it's so much more to it, man. It's a chemistry. I always tell people, the people that I've met in those rooms needed to be there, and you could tell they were supposed to be there. You see what I'm saying? Like, the room don't operate the way that a lot of people would think from the outside looking in. Right. And that's how I feel like now. It's like, I'm supposed to be in that room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There it is. Like, before, if I had to question it, it's like, y'all wouldn't be in that room right now if I wasn't supposed to be in it. Yeah. I feel like, you know, you it come a time where you know, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Do you, do you, um, when you, when I look at, I heard that you had, was it Tyler, the creator, somebody you had issues with or something? Not really issues. I never met What's this. up with that? Let, 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 let's talk about nah, that. Nah, I never yeah, met Yeah, let's break guy. that down. Yo, listen, Nigga, I'm listen, all listen, into listen. the beef. They already, you know, I went nah, viral behind where me. Where did that nah, come from? I can from? set up a meeting and try to get the nigga in there with you. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Look, look, look. I'm probably the only artist in the game that really ain't never had beef with a nigga. Like, well then, why 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 they say what what's like that about? Like when people mention my name, like it's this. You running? Listen from the question. You see, running nah, from nah, the question. Nah, listen, nah, nah, nah. You said beef. I ain't really never had beef with nobody. Like, I think that it's just. I think it's just like I got one of them. I got one of them situations where, you know, people just know my situation. People know like, you know, Zane bigger than life, bro. Like my personality always been bigger than my records. Been bigger than any movie I could do. Like, my soul, my spirit is just, when you walk in a room, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jay-Z don't have to say nothing. When you walk in that room, you just feel it. And that's what I always, you know, pride myself on. Just like, I don't got to say a word. When I walk in, you're going to feel that God. You're going to feel that energy. So sometimes when you when you got that and you possess that, people just take shots. I get it. I get it. I'm going to let you live. I'm going to let you live. All, all these people that yeah. ever, listen, all these people that ever mention me, they never met me in their life. Mm. I get it. But the, I'm, I'm like a I'm like a myth to them. Like uh, they've been hearing me so long, and they like, yo, why am I still hearing this nigga name twenty years later? Like it's been a while. You know what I'm saying? For a minute, people was probably like, yo, how did the biggest name in the world just disappear? Like just go away for a minute. But you gotta remember, like nobody made me disappear. I stepped back. Yeah, I stepped yeah. back. Start reading. Getting, it's, it's important that you have. Well, I, I'll ask grounded. you. How important is it to have self awareness of who you are? Oh, that's what that's why I stepped back. I seen yeah. I that's seen why it. I said that. I it's seen like it going it's in the I seen it going in the direction where I'm like, sooner or later it's gonna crash. You know what I'm saying? Because the paperwork ain't right, everything ain't right, and your, your spirit ain't right. You're going through a lot of you got a lot of unnecessary people around you. So sometimes you gotta disappear from it and lay low and clear and clear the air. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's important. And so, even oh, go ahead. Ahead. No, some and I was just gonna say, and sometimes when you taking taking a break or when you recouping, you know, what I mean? you can't be in everybody's grill. If people gonna start rumors. They're gonna be, oh, that nigga fell off, or mm -hmm. oh, he doing this, or he ain't around. You just like, okay, like you you just know you learning. You it's like it's like when you start going to church. You you you've been thugging all your life, and you start going to church. It's like people still gonna remember you as the thug. They not knowing the reform you going through. They mm -hmm. not knowing. They not seeing you go to Bible school. You know what I'm saying? Church every Sunday, Bible school. Like you trying to change, but sometimes you can't change overnight in front of people. That's true. You know, I just wanted. You're something. not doing it for people. You're doing it for yeah, yourself. Yeah, I wanted something different. I just knew, like, okay, people always trying to say you sound like Tupac or try to say like everything. I saw a million records. They was trying to take the credit away. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna disappear for a minute. Get on my writing game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get better at writing. I'm gonna switch my style up. I'm gonna start singing on niggas. I'm gonna start singing rapping like. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, my acting roles. I'm gonna start. You know, get with the best acting coach. I got the same mm -hmm. acting coach as Michael B. Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's dope. The same lawyers as Kanye. You hey, know what I'm saying? Like, ooh, that boy's starting up. Hold on. Go get the you best that? ones. Say that again. You know what I'm saying? Same lawyers, same lawyers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that boy and, working. But that's what you do. Like I had to like just figure it out. You know what I'm saying? So I like what that. have you learned being on the set of BMF compared to what you didn't know before? Like what we were talking about earlier. What is it that you learned? Just watch your 50, stay working. You know what I'm saying? Stay That's working. important, ain't it? He got 16, 17 shows on right now. So it's like, I'm like, how does man sleep? When do this man sleep? And I'm like that. Anybody that know me know I don't sleep. I don't sleep. Like, I'm one artist that, you know, I'm really a rock star. Like, I'm being humble right now on this. I'm being humble in front of y'all. Like, I'm a rock star, bro. Anybody that hang out with me know I'm a rock star. I sleep two, three hours a day. Cat naps. We don't take. We don't sleep. We take cat naps. You know what I'm saying? You don't be. A, you, and look how I look. 
<laughs> two, three hours a day, and way. I still look like I'm 20, 21, 22. I'm yeah, not even playing because yeah. it's like I'm built different. You know what I'm saying? And my gang will tell you, and I ain't bragging. It's just I'm no, built different. You're supposed different. to talk your talk, different, man. Bro. Stop playing. I'm built different, bro. I feel the I same am way. I'm built different, bro. So I get it. Like, I built, I built, I'm built different, bro. You I like know what that, saying? man. I like it because you got to push yourself. You know what Most mean? people think he really, but, he being arrogant or something. No, nah. I got to push myself because I'm, I'm trying to go to a whole nother level with what I do. I think with me, people know it's not even arrogant. Like, they see my struggle. They see my hustle. They see me go from duh, duh to duh. Yeah, Again, yeah. So it's like, I ain't gotta I just look at niggas and say you know me dog <laughs> don't don't you know better than count me out dog I pop up on something number one you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying who's been the most influential to you like for you during this whole the, process I think the most influential most influential person through this whole process has been my kids man okay because That's like I'm, lead, I'm trying to leave this legacy and I can't I, I gotta change the narrative I had to take control of the narrative Cause I, cause my kids was getting to the point where they were going to school, and you know the internet is crazy, and I didn't want people to just say, "Yo, remember your dad? Your dad used to do this. Whatever happened to him? Oh, whatever happened? Oh, your dad used to, he's a nobody." So that drive was like knowing that, yo, these my kids gonna grow up, and people gonna know about their dad. Now when they Google and they go, two years ago it was like, "Oh, your dad fell off," or boom, boom. Now they go to school and they like niggas can't stay away from him. Like, yo, your dad don't be a mess. So it's like. My man, my thing was always leaving a legacy and changing that narrative. Like, no matter what I do, I'm going to make sure that, you know, when they grow up and, you know, when they say my name, like, it's my name is good out here. You know so what I'm saying? I, so that was my, my whole drive. Did the pot comparison, uh, did it help your career or did it did it hurt your career? I think, I think it helped me. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you compare it to the greatest, you know what I mean? <laughs> You compare it to the greatest, it help you. When did Kobe not want to get compared to Jordan, dog? <laughs> I get it, I get it. You know what I'm I saying? I get it. When you when you when your idols become your rivals, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. If Pac was alive, we would been battling. You hey, know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Like I'm the type of person. Yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna give you your props. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, you Jay Z. But when I get in the room, I'm trying to take your head off. Now it's like we competitive with it. You know what I mean. Dmx, rest in peace. Like when I met Dmx, we battled for two two hours in my room wow. for two hours. Cause I told him, I said, bro. <laughs> You, I'm the next one. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? They kept telling me about DMX. Oh, this guy's going to... It's like 96, 97. Like, but I'm I'm in my hood. I'm rapping. I'm number one in my hood. So my man Locke bring DMX to my neighborhood because he had always been talking about it. I'm like, yo, whenever you bring him around here, just let him know I'm going to eat his face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace what to DMX. What was the outcome? It went down like that? What? We what battled. We battled for two. We had battled for two hours in my room. And he was like... Yo, you nice kid. You nice, you know. <laughs> yo, you nice son. Like, give give you two years, you'll be ready. I said two years. You crazy, nigga. I'm ready now, nigga. F fuck you, mean two years. This ninety seven, ninety nine. That anywhere shit dropped. Oh dang, yeah, that was your he, hit. He was right. He was right. He was two right. Years. He said two years, you'll be ready. But imagine hey, anywhere drop. I'm right like, then. nigga, I'm ready right now. What you mean? Yo. Like. I just rapped two hours with you back and forth. I'm right. But he was just like, two years, you'll be ready. And mm -hmm. rest in peace to DMX. That boy told the truth. He was right. Man, and that's, that's ain't that yeah. something? But people don't know that. Those, but those are things that like, make me who I am. No, no. The fact that I know I battled DMX for, and, he, and I wouldn't say battled like. He's still a like, big homie, right? Like, yeah, like, yeah, I wouldn't say battled like dissing each other. It's more like, you kick around, my kick around, you kick around, my kick around. All my neighborhood friends is there. They like, yo, like I'm telling this story. That's epic. And I'm, I'm telling this story and it's 13 people that are still alive that can say, y'all was there. Y'all ain't even recorded, man. Nobody had no phones man, back then. No Nobody phone. had nothing back then. I was, just, only, I was only like. They had the big phone. Bro, I was like 16, bro. I know. I know. I, I, I heard the year you said it yeah, was. Yeah, I'm 16. It's like 97. Yeah, 96, 96 97. Yeah. Ain't nobody yeah. had. You barely had all this stuff that everybody had. only had man. Get At Me Dog out. They yeah. had one song Yeah. Out. You know what I mean? But he was bigger than life. And um, you knew he was finna be the next one. But here I go. I'm like, well, man. So what in Lil Bow Wow and all those guys, man, uh, I know you dealt with them, come up around the same time. Yeah. Same oh circles, yeah. man. So, I mean, uh, you felt like, okay, when you see any, it, was it anybody you like, oh, yeah, he doing, he running, making his run right now. I'm finna make my run. Or how did you, how did you, I'm talking about in the rap game. You no, know what I'm saying? You know what? I always, um. I always just liked the way that they did, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just like the fact that, 
you know what I'm saying, how he had that Jermaine shit. Yeah, you know that was I dope. Always, that was dope. You know what I'm saying? That's all that's one thing I always knew and I respected about them is how they just kept that whole thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um with me it was never like that though, man. I um you, you just know, go for I'm what far you know. I'm a hater, bro. I'm, I'm so confident in what I do, bro. No, 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 I get that it. That I just, you know, I just, you know, I would see them congratulate them. You know what I'm saying? For maybe, sure. maybe sometime I would seem standoffish because I'm so like a I'm an introvert, introvert bro. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm the coolest person you walk up to me, but I like my space. So I might not come up to you like, yo, yo, let's get in the studio, boom, boom, because niggas do that shit to me all the time too. I like that. I like it to naturally happen. So a lot of these artists I feel like before. I mean, they probably thought I was standoffish because, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm letting you have your space, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, but now it's like I'm a little bit more different. Now I see a nigga, I'm like, what's up, nigga? Let's get in, let's get in the lab, nigga. Because <laughs> just so I know I said it. So I yeah. know I said it. Yeah. And it's like a nigga said, let's go right now. I'm like, let's go right now. But at least, you know, you said before, I'm like, damn, I'll never know if it was going to be cool because I didn't say nothing. Damn. So no, so no, no one intimidates you? No one intimidates me. It's, it's just more like... I'm so humble that I'm like, yo, I'm not going to bother him while he's eating. I'm not going to bother him while he's eating. I'm not going to bother him while he's... But now I'm just like, yo, bro. <laughs> What's good, dog? <laughs> you know what I mean? So get now it's just... Now, this time around, it's just like, you know, not missing that opportunity and just... You know, and just knowing that, you know, a closed mouth don't get fed. True. You know? So what's next for Lil Zane? Man, what's next? You we going to get some more music? You ain't messing course, with it? No, people don't know, man. I be... I got... Listen, man. The music <laughs> shit is crazy. Listen, listen, man. So when you drop, I got I got two singles out right now. I got three twenty five out, three twenty five a.m. New video out. I got a single called Rolly out. About to drop this new single called Bad Vibes. I've been dropping hell of videos so at the back. Did you start working more when you seen the BMF thing? Like, nah, all right, people gonna I be always, looking I for. I always me. kept doing music like every day. I'm talking about dropping like videos and all that. I was stuff. dropping music. You was already I've been still dropping doing music that. since like okay. you know. I feel like it's just. I always been dropping music since like 2017. I just really started dropping music crazy. But um, I knew the BMF was probably going to pick it up. Yes, sir. If people um, put more eyes yeah, on you, right? Yeah, so, um, you know, but I, I got over, you know, 5,000 songs recorded, man. Um, oh. I, I, I've been recording songs every day since, you know, 2000, bro. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I never stopped recording. Like, one thing I did, I never stopped recording. Like, no matter how many years I didn't put out no album, I went to the studio damn near every day, though. Man. You know I mean? So so you can only imagine how much music I have. Um, last night I performed at this. I seen the DFW spot. pop up. I did. I did all new music. I did all new music. You did. I did a lot of acapella shit. And he left. I should have came. You know I didn't know you was gonna be doing all that. I showed up. Yeah, but the question that she answered, what's next for me? Um, you know, I got a TV show that um that I'm executive producing and starring in. It's called um it's called Dead Serious. Um, it's a zombie show. It's okay. A show about zombies, like zombies that that are self aware. Self-aware zombies. They know wow. they're dead. They talk shit. Slick talk is self-aware really? zombies. So, um, it's like a, it's like a, um, you know, uh, Walking Dead meets Zombieland meets Shaun of the Dead type shit. It's a horror comedy TV show. You know what I'm saying? Pitching it to like Showtime, HBO, shit like that. So, you know, I'm working on that right now. That's I'm really excited about that. We just shot the pilot for that, mm -hmm. and um, that's that's me being on that Fifty shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shout out to Fifty man, cause I it's I respect them so much. Like being on that BMF set, it just motivated me. Like I'm like, yo, this nigga run this whole shit. Like, they could write my character off any day. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Thank God they not. You know what I'm saying? Cause Saki that playing, nigga. Man. Yo, Fifty won't do that. Cause Saki that nigga, <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know, but it just gave me that sense, like, yo. Even him when he do his when he do Kane he write himself in a little bit yeah. but he the EP you know what I'm saying so it just gave me that drive like yo I'm gonna take this little thing they give me and I wanna how can Run I with it. I'm gonna take this fish they give me and how can I just create a whole a whole my own empire my own universe you know what I'm saying that power is a universe he got power he got this so I'm just watching the blue the blueprint you know I'm learning like everybody else but I'm watching my nigga and I'm just like yo I want that. Man. So I need to know your top three artists of all, all time. time. Dead or Dead alive. alive. Any genre. I number would say one. I would say fifty pop. Fifty number one. Fifty pop. pop. And um Ice Cube. That was quick. Huh. That was quick. He was quick with it. I know. You I said Ice else Cube like, because Ice Cube got the film and the television. He dope too. Fifty got the film and the television. Yeah. And Pac had the film and the television. Hey. I stay the best, bro. You did mm -hmm. your thing on that pick. Quick yeah. too. He quick with it. I always uh, want Ice T. Like I I like people like that. LL. People that just do what I do. 
they took over the TV and the music. You know what I'm saying? If you could go back and talk to the younger you, man, and uh, uh, and you uh, went back and uh, uh, you ha had a conversation with yourself, um, and you could give yourself some advice, what would it be? If I can go back to the younger, I'm talking about about 16. If I can go back 15. to the younger me and give myself the advice, I would say. Focus, stay focused, stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Stay focused. I'm more focused than ever now. Yeah. Stay focused. It's easy as a young artist to get unfocused, bro. You got the you got the women, you got the money, you got the drugs, you got the the crew. Stay focused. Stay you know focused. what I'm saying? And go for it. And go for stay focused and go for it. Like that's one of the main things I feel like artists, we end up in jail, we end up dead, we end up, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. stay focused, like Stay, you know, stay in that studio. Stay in that studio. Stay, you know, stay I, stay focused. Man. I got to ask you about uh, Young Dolph, but I want to do it in a way to where it really ain't about him indirectly, really. Just the way you move as an artist now. Now. From, uh, from yeah, now. because of the way you see it, not just him, but it's a cloud of smoke over all the, uh, a lot of artists is dying, uh, whether it be gun violence or however it may happen. Um, how does that affect you mentally as uh, far as seeing them? And how does it affect the way you move? Definitely um, just make you think for the future, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I own my masters now. That's dope. I'm working on re-recording my first album over so I can remaster it and own those masters to my first album so the fans could start going to buy that. Just really thinking about owning my masters, um, changing my everyday habits. You know what I'm saying? Like changing your everyday habits, you know, um, the things we used to love to do. Unfortunately, we're in a position now to where, you know, we on TV, it's things going. People people hate you for no reason, so you got to change your mood. You got to change your your daily habits. You know what I'm saying? If I used to go, I used to go to the same gym every day. I started changing. I go to another gym. I might <clears throat> I might drive 30 minutes out of the way to go to the gym now just to, just to change the habit. You know what I'm saying? Like when I'm leaving the club, I'm watching, you know, um, of course, bought more pistols. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to cat right, with you. For real. I ain't going to cat with you. Bought more pistols. You know what I'm saying? Um, But then, you know, that, just change your habits. Because you, you had a thing on you and still get Oh, you can still get still it. Still get it. You know what I'm saying? Change your habits. Um, And like I said, man, stay in that studio. Artists just get restless sometimes. You know what I'm saying? We want to just go out, man. I got to do something. Man, chill your ass at home, nigga. That's it. Get in the studio, bro. That's in the it. studio, like keep yourself so busy that you ain't even got time for the streets. No, I'm so I'm so true. busy, bro. I ain't got like I've been in the streets for the last 15 years. The reason why I'm here right now is because I've been in the streets. I even I wasn't on TV. I stayed active, like I was out here in the streets. I'm in the clubs. I'm in niggas' face. Like that's why I'm here now. Now it's like to the point where I'm just like, yo. Get out the streets. Stay at the studio. I try to st stay so big. I'm on the set. I'm in the studio. Try to stay out the streets, bro, because ain't nothing in the streets. Man. You want to give back, bro, and you want to be, oh, I'm in the streets. I'm giving back. But it's like, stay out the streets, dog. Man, it's, it's, you know it, it, it'd be right at your doorstep. You know, it usually happen in your own city. Do you agree with the fact that it's tough to stay in your own city? I think I asked it, the Reds to shine that, didn't mm -hmm. I? It, yeah, I mean, yeah, it, should you move out of your city when you get to blowing and going, or should you stay in your city? And man. How, what, what should you do? I mean, you know what? I'm from Atlanta. I still live in Atlanta, but I moved out of Atlanta. Okay. If you think about it, it might be true. Like, I, you know, I was, I was born and raised in Atlanta, but I lived in Cali for eight years. Okay. I lived in Miami for five years. So that years. helps. I did move around. Yeah. So so it, it, I gave my city time to miss me. That's it. Niggas didn't know my moves every day. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I might agree on that. Oh. Mm -hmm. I oh. might agree on that. Like, you know. Yeah, it's something Boosie it, say. He say that. That's that's where I hear that coming from. Like, yeah. you, you, you know, it's like, well, Jesus, a prophet's not without honor in his own country. Like, you just you gonna get that that hate people that you went to you school go to, you with. You go to other people cities, that, yeah, yeah, and you yeah. bigger than what they gonna love you. Yesterday. You know what I mean? Like Atlanta, everybody used to seeing people. So for sure, you know, you'll never get the money in Atlanta that you'll get in Alabama or you're getting because we we so used to seeing people. It's like, you know, we see Future in the club all the time. We see Thug like in the club all the time. So you know, but when you go to them different cities. They go crazy, you know. Yeah, what yeah, saying? yeah, yeah they for go sure. Crazy because they're not used to it. Yeah. So, um, so, 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 so man, um, 
You got anything else? My no, boy? sir. That's it. Man, hey, man. Look here, man. I didn't enjoy this. You know, made my day, man. Thank you, bro. Man, you know, I'm getting old. I need all this. You know what hey, I'm saying? Man. Hey, I'm we cr- need it. Say, man, I, 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 look, when you in town, if I'm in ATL yeah. or, or if I'm in Cali, wherever I'm at, and if we decide, yeah, hey, man, yeah. we're going to link. We're going to link. So, mm. man, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. This is like Boss Talk for real. Hey. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, Liz, I ain't been on Boss Talk 101, y'all. We having a good time. Oh, man. Check Appreciate it, man. Appreciate y'all having me, too. Say, man, how can people get a hold of you? Which Yo, we know. Social media, man, Lil Zane's world. You know what I'm saying? Facebook, Lil Zane. Twitter, Lil Zane. You know, social media, Lil Zane's world, though, man. Look me up. Check it, man. Yeah. Hey, man, we love you, man. It's been another love great too, segment bro. of thank Boss you. Talk 101. And we out. Boss Talk 101.